What's up, people? Welcome back. Hopefully you're doing well. I am also doing well. Thank you for asking. Today we have another really great behind the scenes. It's for a short film called Paralysis, written and directed by Devin Cleary. Really wanted to come on here and preface that this was actually shot maybe four or five months ago. And the only reason I say that is because throughout this video, you'll notice that uh, I, I mentioned this was my first time using the Venice. And uh, it was. This was the first project that I shot my Sony Venice on. And um, yeah, it was a really awesome project to shoot it on. It was a short film. It was dark. It was moody. Uh, I really got to push the limits of this camera early on. So yeah, hopefully throughout this video, you get to enjoy the process of what it takes to make a short film. And um, yeah, obviously I can't show the film because it's still in post-production. I don't have any stills to post yet, but within the behind the scenes, you'll be able to look at the monitor and see some of the frames that we got. So that's all I got for you. Let's dive into the behind the scenes video. What's up people? Welcome back. Today we have another raw behind the scenes. Today is going to be a short film instead of a typical commercial set. Really excited to bring you along on this journey today. Um, the short film title is called Paralysis, directed by Devin Cleary. He'll maybe do a little interview and talk a little bit more about the story aspect. But in terms of the cinematography, you'll notice that today is running very dark. Um, we're kind of being a little bit more stylistic with our approach today. Um, a lot of our ambitions came from the movie Hereditary, uh, among some other references as well. Um, another really cool thing, a lot of you guys have noticed that I bought a Sony Venice. So this is my first shoot with the Venice and the Tokina Vista Primes. Uh, we are running Styx, Dana Dolly, and a Jib today. Um, yeah, it's going to be a great time. Got a really great crew. And we have Mr. Mark on the behind the scenes. So uh, enjoy today's video. Hey, James, yes. can you grab me another B7 in the light bulb kit? Thank you. Thank you. All I heard was like thicker shear. Yeah, yeah, so as an option potentially, because we're gonna, once we throw the light up, we need to see how high it's gonna go. And if right. we see it in frame, it's not gonna work. it yeah. might not work. So we might thicken up the, thicken up the shears. Hey everyone, this is James Hargrove and I'm key grip today and jib operator. Um, today's gonna be a good one. Um, nice little short film to start off the year. Hi, my name's Karsten. Uh, I am a PA on this set. Specifically, I'm working in uh, G&E today. So I'm helping uh, with lighting things and moving stands and handing people sandbags, that kind of thing. Hey, I'm Devin Cleary. I'm the writer-director for Paralysis. Uh, this is a story about a young woman who's struggling with uh, depression. It's gone through something traumatic and now she's experiencing a sleep paralysis monster that's come to haunt her essentially um, and throughout the course of the night things take a dark turn. What's up? I'm Steve. I'm the sound mixer. We're working on paralysis. Like Got a great team, great space. It's gonna be a great day. Hey, my name is Hi. I'm the gaffer of today. We're doing a short film. And right now I'm just setting up the 600C. We're trying to go as high as we can with this to go past the window frame. But we'll see. Let's see what we got. And then this is probably even like right, let's lock that Yeah, it needs to come over a little this way, and then I'm actually going to move this to keep it super symmetrical, and there's like a dead spot right there, so okay. I'm going to move that up there. I was thinking this could be an alternate nightstand if we needed something, mm. but like to have something to put the phone on. It so, just adds like a little bit of cool. texture here. It's a little not little. too wide or anything? No, I don't uh, like, like it that. personally. Yeah. I, I like it. There's something there, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Question. Uh-huh. Can we cut these vertically? Yeah. So we almost have like, like slits. four slits Absolutely. that could be open? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay. Thank you. Hey, I'm Liz Ryden. I'm the production designer today, and I built the room atmosphere, so all of the props, yeah. the bed, the curtains, everything that you see design-wise. <laughs> <laughs> it is ultra hazy in here. <laughs> all right, so we have about an hour until we're about to roll. We have the light set up outside. We have a 600C out there. Um, Liz set up the shears, and we have some different openings here to allow some hard light and soft light coming through. Um, as you can see, she did a phenomenal job with the set decoration and art design here. It actually looks like a lived in room. Uh, we put the camera on the jib now. So the reason for having the jib is for mobility and ease of 
you know, constant different shots that we're doing. So we don't have to change from sticks to a rig to all these different things for all the amount of shots that we have. The jib is the perfect tool for the style of shots that we're doing. Um, so we have about an hour, hour and 15 until the sun goes down and then we'll really see the power of that 600 come through. That mixed in with the haze is, we're gonna get some really nice beams in. Um, and then we're here for close-ups. We're just gonna wrap it with some tubes. I think we have the Intellitech Mega Light Cloth on a menace arm. You can use that as some ambient top light. And we also black out the ceiling to reduce the bounce that's coming in from the 600. So having this neg here just creates a really nice shadow on the uh, front side here. Um, but that's all we have for now. <clears throat> You like it for sure? I like it. Nice. I mean, out of the three, Liz, how do you feel about it? I like. I feel great. I like this shirt the best. Is it okay if that it's off the shoulder? You can I see think it is. It yeah. looks kind of lived in. Like it looks yeah. like what you would actually wear if you're just yeah. lounging, yeah. in my right. opinion. Right, right. And honestly, the fact that you can see shoulder helps give like a little bit of like, it's not just your, like you're covered in yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It gives you a little bit of texture for better word. It's gonna be hard. We can't get a light up yeah. from the phone just because this window light is so. Yeah, and then also there we have this. Well, yeah. Yeah. So I'll I'll just try to we'll try to have like a close up shot of it something buzzing when we're here in close and then constantly yeah. yeah. Now so if I'm like this and the like phone's buzzing and I ignore it. Yeah. Phone buzzing, ignoring it, and then eventually yeah. uh, yeah. should we go over how it should look, me opening it? Yeah, and I think it should be it should be um Maybe not annoyed is the right word, but you know what I mean? Like you don't you don't want to basically open Pandora's box. It's not like disoriented, it's more like frustrated. Mm -hmm. For me? So um, See, it's like disor like tired, like in the middle of the night, trying not yeah. to look at your phone, and then like once you do, you're like fine, I'm like giving up and I'm looking at right. my phone. And remember where what uh Monday night or Tuesday night when we talked about it, like the starting point. Like, where has she been for the last few hours? She's been right here. What headspace has she been in? Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, I mean, this is the very top of the, this will be the very top of, of the story. When we call action, you know, just give it like, I'll say phone, mm -hmm. just give it some time, give it like 10, 15 seconds maybe, and then get it with, with this kind of, giving up and, and yeah. giving in rather, mm -hmm. giving in to to this, again, like opening Pandora's box, right? Um, now, should I open up the blinds when I do that or should I just grab it like this? If you can open the blinds, like like a good amount, <laughs> yeah, like, visually it looks good. So I, should I get a shot of me like being up like this? And, like, like I personally don't mind that. As long as you're cool with that, I think it looks... Yeah, for me it if looks it good. looks good on camera, yeah, then like that's that's it. my it's main thing. Yeah. It gets caught a little bit here. It's fine because then it gets stuck and the light continues. Yeah. Okay, because I don't want to be yeah. like you know like no, let me okay. particularly nicely open yeah. yeah. so I can sit up and yeah. be like yeah yeah, yeah yes. exactly like that yeah. Action. Phone. Yes. And I'm like, so it's I'm this... so used to have an old phone. So yeah. Like, yes, like exactly. That, and then it's gone. And then it's gone when you turn. And that actually looks really cool, too, with that with that light on. Um, but so this is right after that second time. So you turn it on. It's gone. Mm -hmm. And now that's the moment following. Yeah. That. So your response is to get the turn, fuck up turn, and turn that yeah. light on. And yeah. actually, you're doing it from bed. So oh. we'll have we're going to like we're going to do it. So it's, you know, you're using an app to turn and it'll be the phone and we'll just have him turn it on on the action and I'll, okay. add, a, I'll add a sound effect in to make it sound like you're you're switching the light on. How should I do that on my end though? So does I, it look, you know? I think just have it up in front of you. And look and like then, I'm like doing and then, stuff on Yeah, and, and then, then bring, even if it's one hand holding it and then the other hand comes in and, and yeah. taps something on it. Scene 135A, take one. Action. Your 
editing this, so in your head, if you don't think that we need to add anything, then I think we could move on. Yeah, because that, that shot, the only thing I wanted from that angle was the shot that we just did. All right, so that intro shot was just so we have an extra option yeah. to cut to. Okay. So we're good to, right. to, to move. Any, any action you want to do, like kind of walking out over here, walking in here? Um, here? I feel like, I guess I just, if it's action, especially of her out of the bed, I feel like I don't want this wide of the room because at that point it's going to be more tense and we want to be close up on it. Camera move. Um, um, camera move first. Okay. Okay. First, 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 first. Yeah. Can you loosen the uh, Kobe right here? Loosen them? Yeah. Yep. You got it? Yep. I got hands. Yeah. This is what it's about to do. You just pull that down. Take some weight off. More? More? Yeah. Dude. Classic. It could be like an alternate. Yeah. If anything, let's do it. As you want a, to try it? Let's do it as an alternate. Okay. And, um, do you want to get your shot first, or do you want to start with this? Since it's already what's, here. what's better for you? I mean, already this have is already one. here. OK, yeah, then let's do that. Right. That's Scene 102 A, take one. When you're set, I'll call action. Set. Action. Phone. Charles, I am a scene on this project paralysis. I'm Riley, and I'm the production assistant slash extra hand today. I'll be helping on the set of paralysis. Hi, my name is Ryan Coburn. Uh, I go by Kobe on set. So I'm here today uh, with Carlo helping him out and Devin. Really excited. And, uh, we're here for paralysis. Have a good time. Like I said, like if you want to give me that battery, if he's low, I'll take it. Action. 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 Okay. Let me let me check this first. So same thing pretty much. Right. Same thing pretty much, but her eyes are gonna go to her action is different. Her action's different. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're original and she's sure. gonna be facing that way. Sure. So we're just gonna swap these shots. Yeah. She's gonna be um she's just gonna be facing the other way. So we will it will be on that side and then the rest of the shots will be center. From center. Okay. Yeah. Carson, we can run a little. Got it. Good. Yeah. Oh. Charles, we're gonna put the twenty-five on. <laughs> yeah. You good? Thank you for. You need water. Can you grab that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Speeds. Scene 131, take one. Action. Good. Cut. And action. I just want to see what her action is. Yeah, I feel like that's actually about the same. On our elbow. Yeah, we did. We did. We're good. Well, we just got the action. Because again, 
Mm -hmm. You can find things. Yeah. Think about it. It'll be way yeah. All right. I'm not gonna miss it. Cut it. Thank you so much. All right. So we're going. I remember like three. like m moments like really well. C105, take one. Action. Kind of the three quarters eye shot close up. Uh, speeds. Action. We can just sit on this for just like 10 seconds. We for want you to have, yeah, it's like only because we want you to look, fans. like yeah. right basically yeah. past so James cool. is where the light switch is. Action. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we could we could show the light we could turning on, so we but it'll, it'll, cut, it but it'll turn cut to, to a dart of the chair with yeah. the figure, or with, a, with her, I guess. Yeah. And then with the we could turn on a spot <laughs> Okay. That'll be I know, maybe bro. relative to I'm that. Trying. Yeah. And then it would be empty. Okay. Um, how we want to do that? You see Maybe me? if you want to think about that, but I think that is our only option. Okay. Yeah. I'll just monster. Oh my god. Cut. Alright, that's good. Can I, I just want to say, can I have you try something for me? Yeah. Could you crouch, but on this? Yes, that might make my feet feel better. <laughs> like, oh, like me crouch, but like. Yeah, like I want your. Oh, um, like, no, I, I, I feel like I'll just want you. 129, take one. Action. Like, the shot that we just did of her here, yeah. How far apart is that from this shot that we're doing right now in the edit? It's two different parts. It's, so it's like whole different. Okay, the only reason yeah. I'm, the only reason I'm asking is because now we took away that that neg that was there to cover her and create a more shadow figure of her. Yeah. Now that we took it away and made it like more realistic, it's a little bit brighter here. I so. definitely think there's enough space where people won't. Okay, Real. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Update. So we just finished scene one, majority. I think it's about 70% of the entire shoot was that whole scene. It took quite a while, but there were a lot of intricacy, intricacies and complicated setups that we had to do, especially because, uh, for example, the shadow figure and the, the, the girl in the bed are kind of the same person. So having to shoot both of them simultaneously, the director had to figure out a way to composite and utilizing the blankets as like a hard cut line was a way for him to do that. But also the way that we were blocking the shadow figure at the end of the bed was being completely front lit by the 600 outside. So we had to come up with a way to minimize the light that was hitting the shadow figure, but keeping enough level to make it still seem realistic. Um, so there were a couple things that we had to work through that slowed us down a little bit, but it ultimately ended up working out well. Um, we are now breaking down a bunch of gear to help facilitate and help speed up the process of cleaning up. We are about to start scene three, and then we'll start again scene two right after that, but we have about 30% of the shoot left. Would you, would you want to do from this shot those quick inserts? I think just so. I think just a bit. Okay, about, so... Yeah. Um, just because the light is kind of being really lit by the 600 out there. Yeah. Um, or maybe we do that at the end and they wrap that light the last. <clears throat> like that's the last light they wrap. Wafter. I think you're off. It is. Yeah, I'm putting you in the credits as Wafter. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Action. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll, so Rachel, this will be your your eye. And I can stand here. Yeah. I can stand here. Yeah.
Can I get one more stand back? Yeah. Need Bach. Uh, Hayes. Uh, it's actually decent right now, but maybe a little bit since we're waiting. Scene 305, take one. No, it's all right. It's all right. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. And then let's take it from the top. So start searching the bag again. Okay. And action. Creep. Action. Yes, out of frame. Let's have you go out of frame because... So it's like I'm meeting her eyes and I see that she's looking at that. Yeah, so you're reacting to her. You're reacting to the her wide open of the bed. So you guys are staring at each other, intensely stare. She looks at the bed. Give it a moment. I wouldn't immediately look. Um, but just like kind of, you know, use your imagination and pretend that your former self is over there still doing that. Yeah, sweet, sweet. Scene 309, take one. Action, Rachel. Quiet on set, please. Earlier in that so shot, like you, and then you turned, and then you pivoted that way. This. Then we'll have you go to the phone. Now, I would say crouch all the way down, like that. Yeah, yeah. Crouch all the way down like that. Um, Grab it and go. Through. Yeah. Or so can I um, light the light like as I'm doing it, or do I? Yes, yeah, yeah. You can do it as you're. Okay. Doing. And we're rolling. Action. Creek. How do you feel about the hand being like out of focus? Should we focus to the hand, or does it? I don't. I don't mind it out of focus. Okay. All right. I think it's. We'll um, I mean, in terms of the edit for you emotionally, do you want to stay on her face? Like, is that what you want to end on? I'm gonna cut. I don't want the hand to come all the way in. I think I'm gonna cut pretty early, okay. as the hand, like basically the hint of something is 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 coming at her now. When when it goes Six dead, be looking down percent. at your phone, mm -hmm. and that's when Riley, when she, when her phone goes dead, mm -hmm. so she'll say no, 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 tap on it, it'll go dead. Give it a few, give give her a few seconds of staring down at the phone, mm -hmm. then that's when the hand will slowly come in, and then again, don't meet her eyes, just the hint of you starting Can to look up at her, and we'll come. Yeah, yeah I'm right. set when you guys are. Scene four one, take two. Hold on, I'm just gonna settle. Yeah, yeah, it's it. Ready. And action. No, 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 Did we crush it today? Huh? Did we crush it? I think so. I think we, we did. freaking crushed it. <laughs> yeah. We freaking crushed that shit. Excuse my French. That's okay. 326 AM. That's right. We're out here. We're still awake. We ain't even tired. Nope. We could go six more hours. This guy could maybe. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good night though. Uh um
All right, so that's a wrap. Long night. Things successful. Um, had to compromise a couple things. Had to adjust some things on the shot list uh, to make do for time and efficiency. But I think overall, the story is still there. Um, everything is still there that's needed. Um, Devin's happy. Um, yeah, the crew is still pumping. Super grateful for them to be working this late and this hard. So, uh, big shout out to them. Um, I, <laughs> I'm so like brain dead right now. Um, yeah, I'll probably talk more at like some talking head thing I'll do at my house. But, um, yeah, shout out Mark. Thanks for doing the behind the scenes, man. Um, there it is. <laughs> um, all right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. So that was the behind the scenes video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Obviously it is way different than a commercial set. Um, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, pretty much all of it has been uh, from a commercial set. So looking at this, which is more narrative, it is definitely a bit of a slower paced environment. Uh, it's definitely, I mean, depending on the short film and the story, but this one is definitely a lot darker, a lot slower paced, uh, really no location moves at all. So uh, it was very compact. I think what we did, given the time, the budget, the resources, uh, I'm very proud of what we were able to get accomplished. And, uh, you know, looking back on it now, obviously there are a ton of things that I would do differently. Uh, there were some decisions that I made that I would love to change, but uh, you can't go back in time and change them. You can only kind of reflect and move forward. So yeah, hopefully you found some value in today's video. And if you did, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, let a friend know. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you have a great day. I will see you next time. Peace out.